Hey guys, uh, just wanted to jump on here real quick and give you guys a video on how to set up a hi-hat clutch. Uh, there's a couple different kinds. Um, you've got a drop clutch, which you hit with your stick, brings the clutch down. Um, the old standard clutches, which is just, you know, some felts that go on the bottom and the bottom screws in, you know, just like that. Uh, the newer ones are like quick releases, uh, which is just a gasket, with bearings. And then it's just a small sleeve on the inside without screws uh, to prevent any keyholing and stuff like that. So these are actually my favorite. And I'll show you how to set these up real quick. So basically, take the felt off. You got both these screws on top here. One felt goes on the top and one felt goes underneath. Button goes on and you're good to go. That's just how, how it's supposed to be. Now I see a lot of people that are setting them up, or thinking they should set them up, with a screw on top, felt, a symbol, and then another screw, or another felt, and another screw. Now the issue with that that you can run into is that if you see this, I don't know if you can tell or yet, but the there's play in that in that washer, and that's over time from the symbols kind of sloshing together. Now I like my symbols usually pretty sloshy when they're um, wider, when they're a larger hat as opposed to a smaller hat which keeps um, a little more of a tight chick on it. This has a little more wash, a little bit better for like uh, blues and stuff like that. So I don't know if you can see here but this is one I used to use. It's got a bunch of like indents, it's missing some of the actual, um, some of the screw mechanisms there. So the rolling is actually missing and everything. Um, and that's from the symbol actually just wearing on, on those screw pieces. So when that happens, you can start to get this play and everything. So what you want to do to avoid that is you want to put both of these screws together. And what this, that does is that actually locks and makes it so they don't move against each other to keep those firmly in place. And then you put a felt Got my other symbol here. See, so releases just like that. Super quick and easy. Good for gigs. So you get the felt, what goes underneath, felt on top, and then you get your other screw, your last screw here to go down. Now, if you notice there's a gap, all you have to do is just loosen up the top one up here, and then let the bottom one go down. And I usually pull this one all the way up just because it's easier. Turn it that way. And then you just turn those down until you get that nice tight hi-hat that you want. If you want it tight or if you want it looser, you can loosen it up. And then it doesn't move anywhere. And then you're also not getting play in this one. And that's just like a basic thing on, on hi-hat clutches and how those are set up. And like I said, I for bigger hi-hats, I keep a lot of play in mind, a lot of good walk, a lot of good, you know, Background noise, more or less, for tight stuff. I like to keep it nice and tight on here, real chicky, not a whole lot of slosh or anything. And that's your basic guide to a clutch. Let me know if you have any questions.